Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> So guys, if you haven't already gathered, touching down from Chiang Mai City, we are back from Malaysia. We're back from Kuala Lumpur and yeah, today we're going to have a little walk and talk. I'm going to have a little walk around because a few things have changed in Thailand. Yeah, we're at Chiang Mai Gate. Chiang Mai Gate down here, look. Get out the road here. This guy wants to get past. There's a gate or more up here 10 seconds so we're gonna take a little walk up here and yeah i don't think i have ever walked up here with the camera so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna start off with malaysia i was there for yeah under a month i had a great time it was brilliant and i would like to go back and kaching i, I definitely wanted to go there and you know penang everybody i know a lot about penang already but it is a place i would like to go so maybe in the future i will go back there lots of lots of road works going on and this place getting a bit of a refurb lit it's very quiet up here today mr mechanic bikes look this is one of the famous ones where you can get a big bike for rent lit this is what you would want to take around to Mae Ong Son Loop or up to Pai or something. Hello! Beautiful bikes, you can get your scooters as well. Mr. Mechanic, very famous, because you always see, people have always got the Mr. Mechanic sticker on the front. So you always know when somebody's renting one like this, look. Be a nice bike to cruise around on, innit? Thinking about renting a bit bigger one for the next road trip, actually instead of taking Lucille. You know, I've had this next mission on my mind for a while, what, what we're gonna do. So I wanted to get back and, you know, Malaysia sort of made me realize again that music, that um, Thailand is where, where I want to be, man. This is where I want to be. This is where I used to come to get Black Beauty serviced all the time. This is a good bike shop, guys. Um, you can even buy a bike here you can buy a top bike or second hand one as well so he, he fixes the bike here look i used to get my punctures and that um fixed here in some new parts i did find a cheaper place in the end that they're not the cheapest in the world but he's a good good guy and he'll get it done for you in no time so i left in a heat wave and i've returned and it's totally different really and I, I've been watching a few, I've been back a little while anyway, but it changed overnight, man. Normally, it will be a progress to the rainy season, but this year, it just went from stifling hot, well, still hot now, but it went from stifling hot to rainy season just overnight. And every day in the past week or two, it's been like this, guys. It's been raining, it's been cloudy, I'm loving it. It's still like it's 29, 30 most days, which is still hot, but nothing like what it was before I left for left for Malaysia. So yeah, I'm loving it. I love the rainy season. We've not had like a major, 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 the, the major rain yet. That's still to come, but it does, you know, it has been spitting and raining most days. Should we go up one more? Yeah, we'll go up one more. Could go down and see Newt again, actually. Could go down and see Newt, but we'll, we'll carry on a minute. Got roadworks going on everywhere, mate. Yeah, bet this place ain't too happy, look. Mate, he's in the digger watching, ah, just like England. Let the labourer do it, mate. Let the labourer. <laughs> Yes, man, yes. Yeah, so get this right. Chiang Mai's apparently gone from the worst air in the world. Not that I ever believe that anyway. I don't think Chiang Mai is number one. It's it's normally high, but I don't think it's the worst in the world. But yeah, apparently now I was really, it's gone to one of the best air qualities in the world. And I probably don't believe that either, but when it is fresh here, man, it is fresh because of the mountains and everything. And I love it like this, I do. Cloudy, 
the only thing is you need a bit of sun sometimes you know you need a bit of you need a bit of the old current bun on you and that will come back that will come back um it won't be like this all the time probably the most famous noodle shop in all of Chiang Mai blue noodles featured on all the top vloggers channels I think um, the man like Paddy he done a vlog here I've done vlogs here loads of people have it's busy lit always busy so the next thing I want to talk about is the big news that has hit Thailand the visas they're about to change the visas this is only dropped yesterday and it looks legit man it looks totally legit but you never know with Thailand do you so what I've read so far I'm gonna leave some links down below for anybody that lives under a rock and having hasn't seen it yet um is he called Tim Tim does the news channel I'll leave the link to the video there where he says a lot more info so the first thing they're about to change in the next I think it's June the 1st they're gonna change the visa exemption to 60 days instead of 30 so and I've just come back in again man so yeah <coughs> looks like I've just missed the boat so apparently the visa exempt looks like it could be 60 days plus your plus you can get an extension maybe there's no news on that yet so it looks like you could stay here for three months maybe on a visa exempt which is ideal but the main thing that um the biggest news is like the digital nomad visa that they're talking about and yeah this is big news man if that's going to be true and they're going to do that i've read you can stay for five years on this digital nomad visa you're gonna to have to show a certain amount of money i think i read five hundred thousand baht which is about ten thousand british pounds right and yeah that's not a lot it's not a lot to show man to get a five-year visa but all this is brand new guys you know how it works here you know how thailand works take this with a pinch of salt but it looks like it's going to be happening in the next few days as well and there's a lot more as well the retirement and stuff like this thailand love money right they need money and i think you know tourism is not i don't think it's been crazy since COVID, since it's got back to normal from covid so yeah they're gonna they've probably been forced into this because they probably it's never been like this before is it what they're gonna these proposals so they've probably thought hang on we've got to we've got to do something if they're gonna do like a um digital nomad visa that sort of means you can come here and be a digital nomad right it's like they're not going to be there's not going to be any rules anymore about oh you can come here and work online or you can't if they're going to do a digital nomad visa it's it's all going to be legit right it's going to be you're going to be able to come here and run a business on online that's that's what it seems like to me anyway it's it's not going to be like there's no sort of rule on it now there's people seem to think like there is there ain't nothing set in stone i don't think about people it's just assuming you can do things like that here so a digital nomad visa would probably clear up all that you know people could come here with their laptops work online you can have to jump through some hoops no doubt you can have to show you're not just going to be able to get a visa willy-nilly are you you're gonna have to show your income properly and you're gonna have to meet some meet some standards what what they're gonna want you to do but yeah it's good news man it's good news and if this happens it's gonna be a whole new whole new world for thailand it's gonna be i think it'll go crazy here man even in like the so-called low season i think i think there'll be a load more influx of people for sure so I think I'm going to turn off up here. So it's, there's a few foreigners about, but it's nothing too crazy, is it? You can see by walking, this is like the heart of the old city. And that's not, it's not crazy at all. I think the weather as well, people, people like the sunshine, don't they? And they, they probably don't come here this time 
time of year for their holiday and stuff. But um, I love it, yeah. Best time for me, mate. Best time. I'm Tammy. Kanika, what is your name? This is Tammy. I'm Wayne. Ben, where yeah. are you from? England. England. Yes. What do you do? Tourist. Yeah, I can information. Tell, I to you. Elephant camp up there. Okay, she does elephant <laughs> camp. <laughs> Thing HEV. Okay. And zip line. Like zip line. This. What White else? Temple. Oh, you go to Chiang Rai. Yes, I have okay. right here. And how many people you visit Chiang Mai? How many? Uh. Me. Only you? Yeah, just me. Ah, from Hello. Chiang Mai. Ah, good. This is Tammy. If you need, if you need any um Tourist. activity, yeah. Jaban next Japan. next to the police Japan. station. You can even go and see the um Thai boxing look. Yes, Thai boxing. Too. And elephant half day nine hundred baht. She from Shanghai, Pim. Okay, next door. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, guy. He does the elephant. Yeah. Okay. I will leave your zip line. Oh, ah. scared. I'm scared. The long neck current. Ah, I like long neck village. Good. Have you been? Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. Not too many people now. Very quiet. Yeah, it's quiet, right? Season, clean season. Yeah. Shade and I think cloudy every day, rainy season. Cool season. Okay. Yeah, I love. I love now. So nice. Mm. Okay. Nice to meet you. See you again. Thank you. Hey, there you go. Tourist, tourist place. I will put um, I'll put it down in the description. You know, you never know. Yeah, <laughs> somebody might be coming here for the first time and wanting to do some things. I mean, if like for me that it's, it looks silly to me when I like I would never be interested in that. But when you're coming here for the first time on holiday, something like that is is what you're looking for right some some guy that can take you around everywhere and show you all the spots put your shirt on buddy you're not in barbados now mate you're not in corfu now buddy holly chang mai a oh, nice lady in there Right, so I think I might go down to the gate after because there's some news there's some more news on the pigeon mafia and yeah remember we done a vlog and they was back and they're meant to be banned the pigeon the pigeon guys were they're back again and apparently like they're battling <laughs> they're battling like the police and you know they they've been told to stop and they're not stopping so actually I'm not gonna walk down there no need to walk down there been down there a million times but yeah there's a battle going on with the pigeon mafia apparently they're waiting for the police to go and then they're coming the pigeon mafia are coming out and then when the police come they all scatter or something so yeah that'll be interesting to see what's going on um i might walk down there in a minute actually could walk down there i'm swept right through so even though like the heat wave, well, they say it was an heat wave. I don't think it was. It was the same, same as every year, I think. Yeah, even though it's not, it's probably in the late 20s, 30s now, it is still roasted, man. It's humid, because it's been raining as well. So the humidity has gone up here. Nothing like Malaysia, but um, yeah, Chiang Mai is no, you know, it's no slouch when it comes to heat, man. It's still hot, it's, hotter than most places you know yes yeah, so i'm gonna walk back down and get lucille and then i'm gonna go to get a drink that's what i'm gonna do so the next plans guys i've came back because yeah what i've realized is thailand is my place man thailand is my place malaysia was great but it you know it ain't no thailand for me man i've gained like lots of subscribers from malaysia and that's all great you know, it's great having them, but I honestly think, um, I honestly think it's hurt my channel a little bit. <laughs> um, I've gained loads from it, but my channel is such, I've got such a Thailand based audience. I think it's, it's hurt the channel a little bit and I want to get back to my core, my core base of Thailand. That's what I am, man. I think if you want to do if 
if you want to be a travel vlogger you've got to be a tra travel vlogger i think and if you want to be a malaysia youtuber i think like you need to be based in malaysia for you know because if you keep if you keep coming back to thailand and malaysia i don't think it's it's going to work too too well it, i mean it could it could for certain people um one thing with me is i do not go where the youtube channel is going to do the best you hear what i'm saying my i don't need youtube to sustain my life in in thailand does it help of course it does of course it helps and it it definitely comes in handy but i don't need i don't need to go somewhere like the philippines or malaysia to live to keep staying in southeast asia i've got another i've got other ways that you know get my money so that's something i don't need i'm happy to be back in thailand and get back on the thailand stuff we're going on a road trip this is what i miss this is what i love this is where i'm happiest let's just go in here it's a bit quiet with my loud gob. <laughs> God, mate, he's there asleep and wake him up. Yeah, I'm happiest on the road trips, man. And that's, I just want to get out to these dirty little villages. When I say dirty, I don't mean dirty. I just mean dusty and old style small towns. Um, that's what I love, man, around the north of Thailand. Just small little places, little cheap hotels and I think a lot of you guys really like that as well because I've had some um, I've had some comments saying Wayne when you're going back to Thailand I don't really like the Malaysian stuff we're not going just yet I'm gonna wait till June or something end of June and then we're gonna I'm gonna get the bike sorted or maybe a different bike and then we're gonna go on the next road trip series I'm going to stop waffling because the sun's come out now and I'm absolutely baking. So I hope you're all safe and sound as always, guys. And I will see you in the next one. We've got some cool vlogs planned for around Chiang Mai coming up. So it's going to be a good few weeks here before we head off again. Take it easy, man. Take it easy.